When they need the babies to go to sleep, they just put them in a hammock and start rocking them, and they go to sleep very quickly over there in El Salvador. Oh, I'll bet. I'll bet. Okay. What the world needs is more hamacas. I think that's the way to go to. Lección 110. La hamaca. Amacar. To swing. Amacar. Remember, we don't pronounce la H. Meet Don Armando. He explained that in his homeland of El Salvador, in the eastern part of that country, it's common to find hamacas in hotels and houses. He said you can see them hanging in hallways or in rooms where there's already a bed. There may be dos hamacas hanging in a room for guests, and if the air is quite warm, he said people usually prefer to sleep in una hamaca instead of on a mattress. It's hot in El Salvador. Or as they say, hace calor. Whew. The people often head to the beach to enjoy the nice ocean breeze. Actually, this is Texas here, but still it doesn't hurt to imagine. We pack our hamaca and follow them to the seaside. We watch them locate a couple of palmeras, palm trees, and tie their hamaca to them. They enjoy a picnic on the sand and then climb into La Maca with ease, as though it's part of life. They cover their faces con sus sombreros y escuchan the ocean breeze and the crashing waves. The breeze feels great in una maca porque the breeze blows all around you and of course that's because La Maca is actually a net the air goes right through it and keeps you cool. In Portuguese, which is a sister language to Espanol, the word for hamaca is net, hedge, similar to the Spanish word for net, red, which looks like a color, but it's not. However, una hamaca can have muchos colores, as you can see, but none of them is red, although it is possible to make or buy una red that is red. Really, la maca es una red. You said that as soon as you came here... Yeah, yeah, we got here. My wife, came, when she looked at it, she looked at all the trees. And she said, well, we could put a hammock between this tree and that tree. We could put a hammock between this tree and this tree, looking at all the places where you could tie off a hammock. And I could just see the whole yard filled with hammocks. I thought it was kind of odd. Then they look at the trees in the front yard. You could put a hammock between them. The funny thing is, the funny thing is that her dad started doing the same thing, and then Marina came over and started mentioning all the places you could put a hammock. Also, and I, 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 I thought that was kind of funny. You know, I mean, we, ne I never recalled having a hammock. So, Marina, where would we put more hammocks here? Would we put one? Would we put one here? Where, where, where would this one go? Put one here and where? Over to here? Si. Okay, let's get a view of that. We can go from this, that's that's a, from this one, all the way over to there? Si, es el de en medio puede ser el main tree, <laughs> oh. donde todos pueden oh. venir para este, o de allá para este. Okay, now, now, so, so this would be el árbol principal. Exacto. And from here, we would tie, we would tie to that tree, well, it's already there. And then we would tie clear over to that one. And then we would tie another one to that árbol, and that, would that be all? Sí. Okay, Tres. so we would have... Tres hamacas en esta. Tres hamacas. Okay. That <laughs> I see what you mean. You would have a yard full of hamacas. That's right. 
that I guess for a family that used hamacas, right? You guys use them to go to sleep in in El Salvador. See. Then uh, I guess that made sense to me. It, I, I I thought that was a uh, kind of funny. I not, not, never had a. I could never recall having a hammock in our yard, and so. Uh, <laughs> and then to have everybody say the same thing. And then out in the front yard? Out in the front yard, too. <laughs> Did they say the same thing out in the front? Yeah, they noticed it, but they weren't actually going to put, put a hammock out there. You know, they just noticed that those trees out, we got two trees out in the front yard, and they are uh, uh, pretty uh, close, or, or far enough apart, I should say, a good distance where you could put a hammock if you wanted to. Maybe if we were in El Salvador, we'd have one out there. Este es mi papá. Armando, él es del Salvador, y esta es una maca del Salvador. Jonathan's wife, Carolina, introduces her father and says that this amaca is more luxurious because it's made of nylon. The ones back in her homeland are made of mezcal, a plant. Esa donde las personas descansan para tomar la siesta o para dormir en la noche, porque en este departamento del Salvador es muy caliente, entonces se utiliza la hamaca. Y a veces los señores cuando han trabajado... She says, sometimes the men return from working all day in the fields and take a nap en las hamacas like you see my dad doing there. Como está haciendo allí mi papá, así exactamente se ponen su sombrero con que han trabajado todo el día. Because they've been working all day, they put their hat over their face and they put their arms just like you see and they go to sleep. And the swinging motion that you see makes them relax and fall asleep. She says las hamacas nowadays are becoming popular all over the world, but they were actually first used in Central and South America. Some hamacas now can cost up to 500 or even a thousand dollars. La hamaca can also be used to lull the babies to sleep. By the way, this baby is dressed in a coat at the moment to protect against mosquito bites. No, la hamaca en sí este es ahora, como digo, un lujo, es algo que se se muestra. Carolina tells me she herself doesn't sleep in la hamaca, but that she has one because it's a symbol of where she comes from. Other people see it and realize she's from El Salvador. It's something that draws a lot of attention. It's real durable, and rain doesn't hurt it. She says it's been out there in the rain for years. Muy duradera, puede estar en el agua y pasar lluvias y no le pasa nada por muchos años. Yo sabe subir y bajar. Uno tiene que, que aprender a, a subir y bajar, ¿verdad? Sí, porque es peligroso. Sí, si no sabe cómo bajarse, se da vueltas en la hamaca. Carolina says that you have to know how to get in and out of una hamaca or you'll flip. She took a trip back to El Salvador and tried a hammock that was actually set up for the men, not the women. She says, but one night it was really hot and we made the men take the beds, and we women took the hammocks. Y ella dijo, yo nunca me he acostado en una hamaca. Yo le dije, yo personalmente tampoco he dormido en una hamaca. Pero este, nos dormimos en esa hamaca y esta señora a las tres de la mañana se cayó. There was a woman from Mexico who said, I've never slept in una hamaca. I told her, I personally have never slept in una hamaca, said Carolina. But we went to sleep in Las Hamacas, and this woman fell out of hers at 3 a.m., and we were laughing so hard that we didn't even help her. She went back to sleeping in a bed because she said La Maca wasn't safe for her, but she wanted to experience it because the rest of us were using hammocks, and she wanted to try it. Ella se regresó a dormir a la cama porque dijo que la hamaca no era segura para ella. Pero ella quería experimentar, como todos estábamos durmiendo en hamacas, ella quería experimentar. ¿Y usted, las demás, dónde dormía? Las demás seguimos. The rest of us went on sleeping in las hamacas, and someone else who hadn't had the chance to sleep in una hamaca took her place. Carolina says sleeping in las hamacas was a very good memory. Gracias, señora. De nada.